546 a.m. and we're here in the coffee shop. I'm just kidding. I wish because I do need a large cup of coffee today. This is what we're reaching for. 97 degrees. It's almost going to be like a repeat day of yesterday, except this morning's not going to be as quite as humid. And we're not going to hit those 90s until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But it's going to be a hot one, so a large cup of coffee kind of day today. Right now, 61 degrees. Calm out there. Uh, humidity is not too terribly bad. 40 degree, 44 degree dew point, 53 percent humidity out there, and we're going to see our dry line here in just a second. But the next 12 hours, you see that. Look at that. These green bars. That's pretty pleasant until about 8 a.m. And then around 9, 10 o'clock, we're going to jump up into those 70s, working our way up into those 80s, and then we're pushing into these 90s by the afternoon, climbing all the way up into those high 90s by late this afternoon. 97 degrees, 650 sunrise. Tonight, overnight low is going to be down into those 60s, 63 degrees, fairly clear skies, 827 uh, is at sunset. Tonight, we do got a chance of some isolated thunderstorms trying to work their way in through the area. Dry line right between Midland and San Angelo. We're going to see those storms kick their way off this afternoon. But as for right now, we're going to jump a little bit further east near Tennessee and north Georgia, north Alabama. We got a nice series of storms racing their way across there. And it looks like my in-laws are going to be having a little bit of weather come their way there in north Georgia. But here in the Concho Valley the last three hours. We don't see a whole lot of activity happening right yet, but the future cast model is going to show us we got some low-lying clouds. And we've got one little series of showers trying to kick their way up in the area, working its way a little bit further east, gaining a little momentum around one o'clock this afternoon. And as we continue to push towards the afternoon, we've seen the series of dry line storms work their way off. All of them are forecasted to be a little bit further east of us, but that could change in the blink of an eye. The way this dry line moves today, 97, tomorrow, 80, Cold front bringing its way in. Rain chances as we approach the week. Approach the weekend. 70% chance of rain on a Mother's Day, which is Sunday for everybody out there, including myself. And then Monday next week, we still got some rain chances. But Tuesday and Wednesday, those 90s are going to be back. Courtney, what's up?